Kaner Universe. It's Kaner Tip Tuesday. And thank you so much for your kind and valuable feedback on Sobrevivencia, the Cuban cane art of survival. And uh, you requested uh, uh, Morana, you like it. So uh, I'm going to keep sharing uh, some content here in celebration of the upcoming Fall Cane Immersion 2023, where Maestro uh, Reese is going to be offering his level one certification. More uh, of, of that in, in a minute. But those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. And two things you wanna do uh, it, right off is, if you like the content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to do that and hit the little bell icon so that you don't miss any uh, content. And then also you have two free resources. Have you done that Kane Clarity call yet? Text the letter CCC to 305-745-7839. And in less than 24 hours, we'll be on a call with you answering all your questions regarding how to get Kane trained and any questions you might have regarding the Kane culture. And you have a private Facebook group. Look at the description below and uh, go ahead and request entry. The, the name of the group is called Kane Flow. They will let you write in. Stick around because today's topic on, on Sobrevivencia, what I'll do is I'll go giving you some uh, insights on it. But I'm going to show you what Maestro Reese showed me about what he does to these canes to load them and, and potentiate the cane. <laughs> it's very in interesting the way he does that. What I want to uh, uh, share with you today is, is just give you some background on why it was, uh, how this uh, system that came to be, he developed it in the island of Cuba under political oppression there. And in essence, what he describes is a situation where you have paramilitary uh, troops, rapid response brigades that come to um, come to civilians. Uh, they come in multiple, in, in groups of four, uh, up to seven or so, and they always have sticks in hand. And this is something that he um, was keen on, on defending against. And uh, then of course uh, uh, the government wanted him uh, to go ahead and, and teach him. And that's a, a whole nother uh, a story, but uh, that, that's how it worked over there. But I'm gonna go ahead and share some of these concepts with you. And while there are more similarities between Sobrevivencia and American Cane Self-Defense and our specialty curriculum, there are some key differences. And the first one, of course, are the cane, the use of the cane themselves. My Ceres didn't have access uh, to the kind of hardwoods and aircraft grade aluminum, things like that. Um, so the canes that he had were very light canes and made it of, of, of a material. You know, this is an adjustable cane. This is a drugstore variety cane. This is the kind of thing that he was using. And of course, something like this is not gonna stand up to the impact to where you're going, for instance, where you're striking with a shaft. And that's one of the uh, uh, first differences is ACSD. Uh, you know, I had a, I had hardwoods, a, a bazooka, come at you, power shot template. But here, the idea is to strike with the tip. That is his main strike, and it happens up close. And as I demonstrated last week, it looks something like this off of an overhead shot or any attack that's coming here is to move in, secure and strike at the hands, but then immediately come in with very short strikes towards the midline of the body. One of the ways that, um, I found this very interesting, one of the things that, that he targets when he's coming in here is to do the same thing and is to strike. You see how she does this here? It's not to the midline, but it's off to the side right on that iliac crest and right above. It's almost like a liver shot if we're going to the right hand side, but it also comes up and down. Probably from the use of blade, he's made it uh, very clear that there are parallels there between uh, uh, long tools and, you know, blade, a sword, um, you know, and anything that knives going in this way. This also carries into the, uh, the empty hand system. And in future segments, I'll cover that. That is one of the similarities. But because you can't be out here, um, he, this wasn't going to withstand. His movements have to be very uh, up close and personal. So you see this movement here is the side to side movement because he works in here. The one shot that he teaches takes a cane very light with his fingers and just from here, it's a shot that he moves from here to here, putting his body and moving just from here. And you see how 
from a very short, from a very short distance, he can generate a lot of power. Now I'm gonna show you what he does to load the cane, which is very ninja-like, uh, the way that he does that, but hold that out here. So you're moving in here, he can also move to the inside of that, and he goes with what you give what you give him so that if, if the strike were coming to the inside, he's looking always to get in here and he strikes with this, right? Almost like there were brass knuckles to come to the inside. Same thing when he's moving in here. But again, the main difference is it is not a shaft, cane shaft striking system like ACSD. It is essentially a tip. Now let me show you what he does here, which I found the first time he showed me this, I didn't get it. <laughs> not the first time he showed me. But there's a way that he loads this cane to make it heavier. And, and of course, the, you know, the explanation he gives if he ever gets asked is, well, he's holding the cane like this. It's going to bring more weight and greater stability to the tool. But then when he moves it here and here, it also loads up that cane. And let me show you, right? This is hollow tubing, much like a raven is. You don't need to do this to a raven. But... He loads the cane right in here, well, with with fishing, with sinkers, <laughs> with fishing weights, right? He puts these in here, and then you can hear it as you move the cane. It, it As you move the cane, it adjusts to that one point. Now, the other thing that it does, so Im imagine that, you know, he's moving it in here, and I was listening to this cane moving around. He says, I didn't get it at first. I didn't get why he, you know, why that worked for him the way it does. But when he has it here and he goes, it kind of reminds me of a fighter uh, loading up gloves, right? To a certain extent, that's what it, what it is. And this is just a microcosm of that ninja mind that out of necessity uh, during times of duress, uh, well, pretty much the name uh, that he gave this system uh, pretty much tells the story. And that is that it's sobrevivencia. The other really neat uh, thing that he points out is that when he has these here at any given point, they can also serve as a projectile. <laughs> and so um, gives you a, a, an idea of how creative you had to be out of necessity. Uh, hence me tagging him with the nickname, the Cuban Ninja. Um, so I've been featuring him now in, at um, ACSD Cane Immersions now for, uh, for many, for 13 years. And now he's gonna go ahead and offer. He's never done it before. This is Fall Cane Immersion 2023, September 19th through the 22nd. And that's four days. We have um, bonus sessions. We always do two bonus sessions. Uh, Grandmaster Bram Frank is going to be um, uh, demonstrating crimped, uh, the crimp tool. And every time I get asked about, uh, you know, the knives that I use, they're all Brams. Um, uh, you know, that's what we, we have in there. So he's gonna be there. Thing. I'll also do, I haven't announced what I'm going to be doing there as well, but the rest is all going to be focused on Maestro Reese and the Sobrevivencia system. So if that's something that you like, go ahead and continue to comment and let me know. We'll keep the, uh, the content going. Uh, but really, if you have an interest again and, and you're new to this, to, to go ahead and, and find out if you've never been to an immersion, uh, what you want to do is text FALL. 2023 that's F A L L 2023 let's set up a conversation i'll answer all your questions regarding fall cane immersion but also let's make sure that that's what you really want and that there's a good fit there and then again i encourage you to text the letter ccc to 305-745-7839 because we can have a conversation not just about sobrevivencia you might have you know you might be new to this and you say hey how do i get uh, cane trained if I'm all the way, wherever you are in the world, it doesn't matter. We deliver the training ev everywhere. Uh, we have a method that we've, we've refined over the years on how to get that done. That is really how you should be thinking. Uh, canes are fun, but at the end of the day, right, something like this. Now, well, Maestro Reese has uh, made something like this work for him because the real equalizer remains training. I'm Joe Robina for American Cane Self-Defense with more insights on Sobrevivencia. Keep caning. Stay safe.